Welcome to Great Talk and Entertainment. I'm your host, KJ, and this is the podcast where we review movies and TV shows from all your favorite superheroes, including Marvel Comics, DC Comics, and much more. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, Great Talk and Entertainment official channel. Now, let's go, baby. <laughs> Hello, everyone, and I hope you're all having a good weekend, a good day. And I hope everything's going good in your life. So, this is going to be my non-spoiler review for the new movie, The Nun 2, which is in theaters right now. And if you're thinking about seeing this movie, but you're not sure, let me be the one to convince you to go check this movie out. So, before we get started, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, Great Talk and Entertainment Official Channel. This would help me and my channel to grow and get more viewers. And I appreciate you guys just sharing all my latest content to your friends and families or just people who enjoy podcasts like this about superheroes, supernatural movies, like to hear the reviews on movies and TV show. I definitely appreciate that. So let's get into it. The Nun 2 continues on from where the first one ended with the two main characters, Frenchie and Sister Irene. When I first saw this trailer, The Nun 2, it said this is probably one of their darkest stories that were being told in the Conjuring universe, and they were definitely not lying about that. This film had me jumping, closing my eyes. I was definitely shook by it because this movie was very intense and scary as hell. Like, this movie hit it all. The jump scares were on point. Even, even the times I knew... I knew this thing was going to jump out and scare the character or the little girls in the in the nun series. Like I knew I knew I was going to get I knew it was coming. It still got me. It still got me. It was fun to watch. I really enjoyed it and I would recommend anybody to watch this movie whether for Halloween week or the day of Halloween. It has a lot of scary stuff in this film. But besides that, the plot of the movie told an excellent story that keeps the audience attention. Like, even though, you know, if you're like me who put the shirts up above their, um, above their whole face because you knew something was about to go down, I still paid attention. I still were, was like, you know, engaged in this. And I tell you what. There's a lot of people at the theaters, and they were all like freaking out. Popcorn was flying over the place. Like it, it was, it was lit. Like this movie got a lot of people. Like I wasn't the only one. Like, ooh, and I was sweating. Like I was like, man, this movie is crazy. Like, but again, this the story, the plot of it was really told well, very balanced with doing, you know the. Because this movie is about trying to scare people, but it also balances telling the story that helps you understand. It reminds you that this is part of the Conjuring universe, so it had it. And it definitely, the CGI and the VVX were on point. The special effects was really good. And it was very blood and gory. Like, there's a lot of blood and a lot of gore. And boy, they did not hold back on those, on the punches and all that, like. And again, this film is really good. I, I say you should definitely check this out. And as far as like the ending goes, without spoiling it, it does it does intrigue the idea and it expands. It expands it and it widens the whole conjuring universe. So even though this takes place before like the conjuring one and before Annabelle movies, before the, even the Annabelle 1, 2, and 3, this goes, this is like, boom, way better. It's like a prequel. But it it does expand it, and it lets you know that in the Conjuring universe, there's there's evil that lurks all over the world. And it, it does give me an idea of what could be next. And they look, and they're definitely taking the the demon of uh, Vaca, the character that, that who's the nun, in a different direction. And maybe we may see the Warrens and this character collide, the the nun, 
and and maybe in the next conjuring movie or maybe the nun three but it it, it definitely has a lot of things like because there is a post uh, a mid credit scene in this so de- so definitely you know go through the credits even watching the credits um that director um well, what's his name michael chavs his the the way he did the credits is really crazy like it it was like black and white uh it was just kind of it was still kind of creepy eerie like it's it's it was tough to sit through that but the way they 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 ended this film i think i think there's more to this and i think they I don't know how much more they're going to do with the Conjuring universe, but I think the Warrens and the Nun, I think that the idea of this demon, I think these are going to collide. I think Sister Irene, I know she's probably like, she would probably be like in her 90s or 70s or probably passed away by then because this takes place in like 1952. But I think maybe there's a a family member in the present time, which would be in the conjuring the next conjuring movie, or maybe in the Annabelle movie, who knows, right? But I think there's I think there's more and I think there's something about this the the character the nun is has a bigger plot and I think this character or demon has a different agenda. So it'd be interesting, but they they took this, the nun too, definitely gave an idea that they're going in a different direction with the Conjuring universe, which it's still going to be obviously scary, but it's very intriguing and I can't wait, but who knows, who knows, there's still the uh, writer's strike and I think that's a very important real life thing to go through, but hopefully maybe next year there's, they'll have some more information, but I think... This film is really good. I think if I had to give a one out of ten, I'm definitely giving it ten. Like it was such a great movie. And it's a movie I definitely want to watch again, especially for the ho- uh the Halloween in of, of October. I definitely want to see that. I think I think it'd be fun to watch with your friends, your families, whatever. And it's it's a really good movie, and I definitely would say check this out. Like it's got a lot of good stuff. As, as far as what be next for The Conjuring? If you just look at this movie, this movie is a really good horror film. And I think people would enjoy it if you're into the horror films. Like, this is a definitely good, a good year for horror films. So, definitely check this out. So, that's my review for that. Thank you so much for listening to my review. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, Great Talk and Entertainment Official Channel. Subscribe. Hit that notification button so you can always be updated with all my latest content. Thank you and peace out.